Okay, hello again students. So this is video number two. So in the last video, I sort of left you with this uh, syllabus here all marked up and stuff, and I hope you'll have a chance to go look at the details. And let me just continue on now. So my philosophy for teaching Astronomy 101 begins, believe it or not, with the phone, which everyone just loves. We all have one. They're just marvelous devices. They do so many things. This is one of the new iPhones that has all the facial recognition in it, and they're just fantastic. But, of course, the problem with the phone is that we're always looking at them. And we're never, never sort of, uh, as I like to say, uh, looking up that much anymore. Uh, in slide one here, here's a bunch of youngsters uh, in a typical outdoor setting using their phones. Here's another setting right here where they're using the phones inside, and they may even be texting one another as they're sitting right next to each other here. And one of my favorites here is this is a bus driver uh, using a phone, looks like, as he's driving his bus. That's kind of funny there, huh, don't you think? In Europe, I've started to see uh, some signs pop up in some cities that look like this that are encouraging pedestrians as they walk around to look up once in a while because everyone's looking down and there's been some traffic accidents and things. And there's some lights in walkways now uh, for the same effect, get people to look up and remember that they're uh, about to cross the street. Uh, it's not just young people. Of course, older people are using phones too. Here it looks like an older couple in a park and here's a bunch at the uh, airport going over the phone. Uh, this was an article that was in the New York Times a while back. I believe this is in a Rembrandt here in a museum in Amsterdam. And here's a bunch of youngsters here sort of all on their phones. Uh, don't you think that the youngsters maybe at this moment here should sort of be looking at the painting? Well, maybe not, but the uh, story continued that the youngsters were actually using some uh, app made by the museum to learn more about the painting, um, you know, or so they said, okay? Um, and then there was this also article that I saw a while back that, you know, remember the good old days when everyone just sort of socialized and weren't constantly on their phone. Well, looks like in this case here, the uh, newspaper uh, is taking the place of the phone now in terms of the socializing. So maybe we're just not that social. Who knows? But in either case, when I mentioned on that past slide about looking up from time to time, um, this is a view that I took from my phone just a few couple of weeks ago when I was taking a walk in the evening with my wife And I sort of looked up at the Sun. I see many nice things here. I see one I see some cloud cover in there uh, I see this Sun setting in there sort of my number two right there and The thing that sort of caught my eye about this particular Slide here this particular picture was that uh, you see these sort of these rays coming out of the Sun So the Sun is sort of here you sort of see these rays coming out of the sun like this. Maybe you've seen this before. So these are called crepuscular rays. It's spelled exactly the way it sounds, crepuscular rays. And they were actually termed by Isaac Newton. It's not important uh, what they are at the moment here, but the point is that it made for a very nice scene that I saw by just looking up. You can see this beautiful sunset with these rays coming out of it. And I sort of know a little bit what, about what they are. And I'll tell you as the course goes on. But that's the kind of thing you can see in our sky. But you just have to get off your phone once in a while to see them, right? Okay. And so the sky, of course, is just a wonderful place to see all kinds of things here. Like you can see rainbows. Who doesn't like a good rainbow? Sometimes you can see the moon during the day. And I mean, I wonder why that is. And in the case of this figure here, the moon looks like it's not even full. Like there's sort of a section missing right here. And we have to sort of see why that is. And then, of course, there's these beautiful red sunsets you can see uh, many times here on the central coast. Um, sometimes in colder climates here, you can see the sun setting, as you can see right here. And there'll be sort of these two rainbows off to the side like that. We'll talk about where those come from as the course goes on. Um, then there's, of course, these things called mirages that looks like there's a bunch of water in the road coming up. But, of course, it's never there. You can never quite reach it. So we sort of have to discuss about why that happens. And then, of course, never mind all that, but then you, when you move into the night sky, you see all kinds of beautiful things here, like the Orion constellation is sitting in there. And this picture here is of someone going camping. You can see just a light on in their camper. But, of course, you know as you go camping, you can see all kinds of stuff in the night sky. And if you're really lucky and you really go to a very dark place somewhere, you can often see the the core of the so-called Milky Way, which is the name of our galaxy. And so we sort of need to talk about where all that comes from. So I'll continue on this in the next video.